All right, welcome back. President Trump's 4th of July celebration in Washington, D.C. is going to be pretty spectacular. And according to The Washington Post, and also the president just confirmed this, there are also going to be tanks involved. Quote, the ongoing negotiations over whether to use massive military hardware such as Abrams tanks or Bradley fighting vehicles as prop for President Trump's salute to America is just one of many unfinished details when it comes to the celebration planned for this Thursday. That's according to several people briefed on the plan who spoke on the condition of anonymity so they could speak frankly. Now, that's in addition to military flyers by F-35s, Marine helicopters from the Presidential Squadron, and also perhaps from Air Force One. Let's welcome back in our panel Ellis Hennigan and Steve Rogers. All right, guys. Remember, it was just four months ago when President Trump tweeted, quote, hold the date. We will be having one of the biggest gatherings in the history of Washington, D.C. on July 4th. It will be called a salute to America. It will be held at the Lincoln Memorial. Major fireworks display, entertainment, and an address by your favorite president, me. So, Ellis, the tanks, what do you think? A little too aggressive or totally appropriate for the celebration? God, he's more like a military autocrat every day. First of all, wasting <laughs> military resources on this, the last thing we should Come be on. doing for our overtaxed military. And then all the, listen, this is stuff that generalissimos in Latin America do. It's, it's beneath us as an American country. <laughs> Steve, I just want to, I want to read something from John Adams that he wrote on July 3rd about what Independence Day should actually be. Here's what he wrote to his wife, Abigail Adams. Um, the, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't read the wrong thing. All right, here we go. The second day of July will be the most memorable epoch in the history of America. I am apt to believe that it will be celebrated by succeeding generations as a great anniversary festival. It ought to be commemorated as the day of deliverance by solemn acts of devotion to God Almighty. It ought to be solemnized with pomp and parade, with shoes and games and sports and guns, guns, Ellis, bells, bonfires, illuminations from one end of this continent to the other from this time forward evermore. And don't forget, this was before... The war was actually fought. This was when the Declaration of Independence was sought. Steve, I think this sounds totally appropriate. I have a barbecue. Look at it, as a retired lieutenant commander of the United States Navy, I am proud and honored that the president is doing this. Look, the American people love their military. Children love the uh, uh, demonstrations that the military will put in, be putting on, the flyovers. What the president is doing, he is allowing us now to share an American experience that we don't quite often do. This will be a proud day for the United States military and the United States of America. I, I agree. I think it's going to be a great day. I, I did read some, I guess the, uh, the uh, Blue Angels were supposed to have a 4th of July break. Now they're going to be actually flying, but I mean... You know, does my, know. Fly uh, look at, does my colleague here want to deny some little kids to honor and to pay tribute to their military? Of course not. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Have a barbecue. They have hot dogs and hamburgers. It could be really nice. But to do this militaristic, money-wasting. In fact, most people in the military that I know don't want to do it. In fact, you remember last year they put up such a squawk. They well, canceled the whole Ellis, idea. <laughs> you and I are civilians. Steve Rogers is the one with the military experience. I know, in the we, we, we love He's it. out to lunch on this. He's clueless on this All topic. Right. Guys, stand by. We're going to come back. We're going to talk about Antifa and their increasingly violent acts against one reporter.